You, Psst, come here. You're looking for a hot penny stock. I think I might be able to help you. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot. And this is Tuesday. It is June 18th. And that is exactly what we do on this show is we focus in on a hot penny stock. Normally one I found through the day as I was trading penny stocks. That's what I do every day. I trade stocks under five bucks. And you know where I find these stocks? Everywhere. They're on every single market. There is no lack of penny stocks. The trick is sorting through all those penny stocks, trying to find a hot penny stock, a stock that has potential to make us money. Now, in my book, the ingredients for a hot penny stock is a stock that has a hot chart and a hot piece of news. And that's what I like to bring you on a regular basis. And I've done it again. <laughs> this is Vivos Therapeutics, ticker VVOS. Now, to be completely honest with you, I did not find this stock. This was brought to me today by Sinka on Twitter. Sinka asked me to do an update on it, which inferred I've looked at it before. I did. I found the video. I did it back in January. I thought it was January of this year. No, it was January of last year. A year and a half ago, I covered this company. And since then, the chart has been very depressed. She has been falling hard. She's had some big bounces on her way down, but she's been falling. But now she is setting up for a breakout. She's getting into position. She's not at the breakout point. I need one more token sign and I'm going to be very confident that she's going to break out. And I'll share that with you when we get to the charts. Now, right now, she's got a lot going on. She has got more money coming in. She has got more equity. She is expanding her business. It is a good time to look at this. Thank you, Senka. So, Vivos Therapeutics, ticker VVOS, finished the day today at $2.13, and she was up just about 4%, which is $0.08. Cents. This is a penny stock on the major exchange, the NASDAQ. So, you don't have to pay for any of your transactions. They're all free on the major exchange. You also get to trade pre-market, after-market, which you can never do with OTC. A lot more money, a lot more rules, and a lot more volume up on the major exchange. And all of that plays into your favor. So what is Vivos all about? Well, you know, I got a great description here, but I'm not going to read it because that's a tongue twister. Every time I've tried to read that, I can't get through it. So I'm going to come over here to the most recent news press, and I am going to use this one. And now I've got it all highlighted, too. So we're over here at the most recent news press getting this description. Vivos Therapeutics is a medical technology company that's focused on developing and commercializing innovative diagnostic treatment methods for patients suffering from breathing and sleep issues arising from certain dental and facial abnormalities such as obstructive sleep apnea, better known as OSA, and we're going to refer to it as OSA often. The Vivos method represents the first clinically effective, non-surgical, non-invasive, non-pharmaceutical, and cost-effective solution for treating mild to severe OSA. It has proven its effectiveness in over 42,000 patients treated worldwide, that's global, by more than 2,000 trained dentists. Ah, you weren't expecting that, were you? So you're having sleep problems and you're going to your dentist to have them resolved. Why is that? I'm going to explain it. Keep with me here. The Vivos method includes treatment that alters the size, shape, and position of the soft tissues that comprise a patient's upper airway and palate. The Vivos method opens up airspace and may significantly reduce symptoms and conditions associated with mild to severe OSA in adults. Now, I realize this is tough to imagine. You're trying to get a picture and you just can't do it. I couldn't do it either. I mean, literally. I went to the company's website looking for a picture of this to show you. They didn't have one. I was a little disappointed at the lack of information on their website. But boy, was I impressed when I went to Google. Holy cow, the amount of information out there was just overwhelming. And I'll tell you why. It's because of those 2,000 dentists right there. These dentists are selling these products, making money on them. So they're advertising them. They have full websites, full pages talking about everything about these products. So there's a lot of information out there. And that's actually where we're going to go to get our information. 
This is just one of the dentists that is using this. This is Breath of Life Dental out of Maryland. Just happened to pick it because the information is laid out nicely and they had a picture right there. I know it looks like a retainer, right? Now, it's not both the top and the bottom. It could be, it could just be one or the other, but these are what they're talking about right here. Now, let me read the information so you can get an idea of how we're using this. The Vivos DNA appliance, not as in molecule structure DNA. DNA stands for daytime, nighttime appliance. They don't need appliance there if they got appliance there, right? <laughs> the Vivos DNA appliance is a revolutionary treatment for sleep disordered breathing. It has been used successfully to relieve the symptoms of conditions such as obstructive sleep apnea, snoring and mouth breathing, and TMJ dysfunction. Now they give us information down here about each one of these and this will fill in the gaps for you. Sleep disordered breathing is a term used to describe any condition that affects your ability to breathe easily while you're sleeping. A common condition is sleep apnea, where your body actually stops breathing intermittently throughout the night. This affects your overall health and quality of sleep, and it can lead to serious medical complications like heart attack or stroke. It is bad, folks. You're not getting enough oxygen into your body. So you wake up feeling exhausted, wore out. Your body isn't working right. You're not thinking right. And as they said, it can lead to serious situations. Obstructive sleep apnea is a condition where your upper airway cannot stay open enough for air to get through. The muscles in the back of your throat will relax too much while you're sleeping, which closes off your airway. If you have obstructive sleep apnea, you will wake up dozens of times at night choking or gasping for breath, even if you don't remember it happening when you wake up the next morning. The DNA device therapy uses the Vivos Oral Appliance can correct this upper airway problem and help you get the restful sleep you deserve. Then you have the TMJ dysfunction. TMJ, I'm not going to read that word right there. Those are the joints right here underneath your ears. You can feel them when you move your jaw. That's how your jaw attaches to your skull, right there. And if these are out of alignment or pinched, it can cause a lot of pain in your ears, your jaw, your mouth, and it can actually affect your sleep as well. So what they do is they diagnose you. You first have to go through monitoring. They give you a device to take home and you wear it and it gathers all this information up while you're sleeping. Then you actually see somebody. They will give you an exam, actually measure and look at your mouth and throat. And then if needed, you'll get one of those devices that you wear whenever you want to sleep. So that's what the company is into right now. But at this point in time, all you see are dentists using this. Now think about that. If you were having a sleep problem, and let's say you had a dental problem, but you didn't put two and two together, are you going to go to your dentist to take care of your sleep problem? Probably not. This isn't where I would go initially. I'm sure the doctors might finally push you over there. But now they're starting to do business where we would go to get help. And I'm going to share that with you as soon as we look at the stock. Taking a look at that relative volume for the company. Over the last 30 days, Vivos has been under the radar, considering she's on the NASDAQ. She's been doing about 58, 59,000 shares, and today she didn't even do that. Today she hit 55, 56,000 shares. Share structure for Vivos. I was unawares. We have got ourselves a super duper low float, and I don't even know what it is. Our outstanding share count is really low. They did a reverse stock split October of last year, a 1 in 25. And this is where we've ended up, 3.2 million outstanding. And since the float can't be any higher than the outstanding share count, we've got ourselves an excellent float. Market cap for Vivos, we're at about $6.6 .6 million. Financials for Vivos. All right, let's not forget to add three zeros behind any of the numbers on any of these charts. Four years ago, we were at 13 million, went up to 16, 17 million through COVID, and then dropped back down to almost 14 million at the end of 2023. And they're bringing home strong profits, but the profits are dropping. 
If you notice, a year ago, we were at 13 million. Now we're closer to 14. But look at the profit. A million less in revenue, and we were up almost 2 million more in profits. Maybe that's inflation. I don't know. Quarterly reports. Yeah, she's maintaining. Each quarter, she's doing between 3 and $4 million worth of business, and they're bringing home steady profits. But this is going to get better because of the news I'm going to share with you here in just a minute. Balance sheet for the company. Remembering to bring over those three zeros here as well. We got $2.6 million in the bank. Total assets, we got about $11.8 million. Ah, total liabilities is close to that. $11.2 million. So we do have a little bit of stockholder equity here. Just about $600,000. A little bit over a half a million. Taking a look at our disclosures. All right, we have got two 8Ks here. This 8K relates to the news that we're going to go look at, so I'm not going to dive into that one. But then we've got an older one here back on May 17th, and I need to share this one with you. This was a notification from the NASDAQ to the company that they are not meeting the stockholder equity. We just looked at it, right? It was close to 600000 Well, the minimum is $2.5 million. Now, I don't see a date here. They haven't given us a deadline, but they are in hot water. If they don't fix this, they could find themselves on the OTC market. Now, normally you get a deadline. We don't have any deadlines here. The company says they're going to appeal it. They normally give us a date. We don't have a date here. So, all we know right now is that they're in hot water. They have not met compliance with stockholder equity of $2.5 million, and they plan to appeal it. If they get that appeal in, it will stay off any harsh action against the company. That buys them some time. I don't know if they'll solve the problem in that time, but it does buy us some time. How much? I have no idea. They haven't given us any dates here. All right, now let's go jump into the news. There's not a lot of news here, but it's important news. I've got one piece here from April 9th. Vivos Therapeutics receives approval for Medicare reimbursement for flagship oral medical devices. There you go. We always like to have Medicare covering things for us. Then we've got our financial results here. We're not going to go through much of this, but I do want to read this line. Vivos is expanding its revenue generating initiatives as operating expenses decrease by 22% representing seven consecutive quarters of year-over-year -year improvement due to successful cost-cutting initiatives. That's a big deal. Now, that's not quarter-over-quarter. Quarter, that's year-over-year. Year. Compare this year's quarter to the last year's quarter. Every year, for the last seven quarters, we are higher. So we are actually growing right now. But now we should start to grow faster. The most recent piece of news came out about a week ago. Vivos Therapeutics closes $7.5 million at-market private equity-backed investment and launches strategic marketing and distribution allowance. Now, I'll be honest, I wanted to read this whole news press to you. The whole thing is juicy, but I've just chosen the juiciest parts. So if you really want to get all the details, and you should, just come over here and read the most recent news press. This came out June 12th. They tell us that Vivos Therapeutics today announced the execution of a strategic marketing and distribution alliance with an operator of multiple sleep testing treatment centers in Colorado. Did you catch that? Up until this point, the only people selling their products are dentists. And didn't we say most people aren't going to go to their dentist to figure out their sleep solutions? So now they're going to sleep clinics, sleep therapists, and this is their first alliance right here, and it is in Colorado. This alliance, which Vivos hopes will be the first of a series of similar alliances across the country, marks an important pivot in Vivos marketing and distribution. Heck yeah, it does. Vivos also announced the related closing of a $7.5 million equity growth investment from New Seneca Partners. Now, this is an investment because they bought stock. Well, they didn't actually buy stock. They bought warrants to buy stocks. That's going to allow them to make even more money. But this isn't a loan. There's no interest on it. They don't have to give it back. This is their money. Seneca actually became an investor. And that's what Seneca does. They are professional investors. They invest in companies, 
but they only invest if they can have a voice in the company. They want to help drive their investment to profitability. So they're involved with us now. This investment materially bolsters Vivo's cash on hand and stockholders' equity. We got to get that up and will facilitate the launch of the new strategic alliance and potentially other similar alliances, which is expected to positively impact Vivo's revenue growth. The program will commence in two existing sleep treatment centers in Colorado, with operations expected to begin July of this year. Now, the CEO of Vivo says, we cannot overstate the importance of this alliance to Vivos and its future, coupled with that validating private equity-led investment from Seneca. Over the last several years, peer-reviewed studies have all confirmed our long-standing belief that Vivos has the most effective, safe, and potentially lasting non-surgical solution for all severities of OSA in adults that does not require lifelong nightly intervention. This was further validated by recent unprecedented FDA clearances Vivos has received, including, catch this now, the only FDA clearance for an oral medical device to treat severe OSA in adults. When we were looking at this January of 2023, they were hoping to get it approved. That's what we were looking for. We were waiting for that to happen. Well, it's a done deal. Basically, you've got yourself a monopoly here. They have no competition in this market. We firmly believe this new strategic marketing and distribution alliance will serve as the initial launch of a scalable model and the first of many such alliances throughout the United States that will be the means of highlighting and delivering Vivo's treatment options to millions of new and existing OSA patients. How many sleep therapies are there? How many sleep clinics are there? I mean, that's a whole new sector that they're going to be getting their devices into. So between dentists and this, should we expect at least doubling their revenues? Now, we're just at the beginning here, but I think they're going to have a strong push to get these into those sleep clinics. So that's what's going on with this right now, folks, and I think that's a lot of push. And when you see the chart, it looks warm, it doesn't look hot, but with one more token sign, it can be a very hot chart. I'm going to share that with you right now. We're going to have some fun now. We're going to do some charting. We're over here at my free trading platform, Thinkorswim. We are looking at Vivos Therapeutics, ticker VVOS. Now, I got this opened up to a one-day, one-year chart. You can see she has been in a slight downtrend and had a serious rip here in the middle. Now, we had a reverse stock split here in October. This purple bubble tells me that. It was a 1 in 25. But I shouldn't have to have a purple bubble tell me about a reverse stock split. I should be able to look at this chart and see a big green bar kicking that price up 25 times. But where's my green bar? It's not there. Now, it was there the day they did the reverse stock split. Might have even been there the day after. But after that, it gets swallowed up and absorbed by the chart. The history of the chart. It's ridiculous what they're doing now. They're adjusting the charts to compensate for that. This is how it's working. We got a 1 in 25 reverse stock split. Every day behind that reverse stock split has now been multiplied by that ratio of 25. Let me put this in perspective for you. Let's say one day the price closed at a dollar. You go look at it now, it says the price closed at $25. That's not right. That's not accurate. That's misleading. And as investors, we need accurate information. So I'm not happy that they do that at all. Now, the chart's right. You can trust the chart. Nothing moved on the chart. But all the numbers are wrong. Everything after the reverse stock split remains the same, except now the shares are way, way down. Which means this high bubble on November 29th is real. It actually hit $48.79 in one day, jumping from $4.12 all the way up to there. That was a 1,200% run in one day. She had got the long-awaited news she had been waiting for from the FDA. They approved her DNA appliance. It was a great payout, but it was short-lived. 
This was only one day it was up there. Came all the way back down, bounced off our 200, fell under the 200 and continued to dip, hitting a 52 week low of $1.91 in May. All right, let's come on down to our six month, four hour view. This is where I do most of my searching for heat. So this is basically an atypical breakout chart. You've got your 200 day SMA coming down fast and furious with the price deep underneath it. And they're getting closer and closer and closer. That's what we're looking for. Now, it, things are starting to level off here. Our price came all the way down and right in this area right here, she came down and started bouncing off our 200 haul. I love my 200 haul. You know this, don't you? This purple blue line is the 200 haul. It has as much authority. It has as much power as the 200 day MA, but penny stocks like it more. <laughs> Both the 200 MA and the 200 Hall take 200 days of prices and average them all together, give you a point on the chart. But the 200 Hall puts more credence on current prices, so you end up with an entirely different, strong, long-term line on your charts. And as I said, penny stocks like the 200 Hall. They will lay on it, they will bounce on it, and they will catapult off of it directly to and through the 200. We see it all the time. So this is looking good. She has bounced off the 200 a few times, got herself on top of the 50. She has come back down to the 200. Maybe she's going to bounce and catapult right now. Now what we're missing here is a token sign I like to see and we don't have. Maybe it'll come, maybe it won't. We don't have to have it, but it gives me confidence when I see it a directional intentional spike. That's when you have a green bar jump all the way up to the 200, a solid bar, but then stops, but it spits out a wick over the 200, way up high. Then it comes back down on the other side. And if that bar doesn't come down any lower than where the jump started from, as far as I'm concerned, she's going to run. She's just waiting for an opportunity. And what's that opportunity? It's when that 200 day SMA goes flat. And that's what we're always looking for. So this is very warm. I'm not going to call it hot, but boy, she is just on the edge of getting hot. And if we get a directional intentional spike to punch this and come back down, you better get in folks. She's going to start to run. Volume has been okay. It's been steady through here, but nothing increasing. Oscillators are a bit weak right now, but they've settled. You know, you can see they came underneath everything and they're now flat and their RSI is actually starting to climb, which is what you want to see. Coming down to our 20 day, one hour view. So we had a breakout already on this chart from our low bubble. She hit the 200, came down underneath it, bounced off of our 50 and launched to that high of $2.61. Fell again underneath the 200 and it looks like a rubber ball bounce maybe that would be coming underneath the water and then coming back up but no no she didn't look at that red bar right there actually this <laughs> it is it's kind of looking like a um cup and handle to me coming down up and then back down and then it would shoot up right here you have a cup and then a handle which comes down about one fourth one third of the cup's depth and then it'll bounce and you'll get a nice run off of that this possibly could be that but looking at this chart look at we got our 200 haul 50 and 20 day sma all coming down on top of this price that isn't going to make things easy. She's going to have to have some strong punch to get through here, or she's going to have to go sideways and hopefully ride this out until things turn around and she'll start to come back up. Looking at our oscillators, well, recovery is beginning. This is starting to climb. It's not much, but it's not falling anymore. It is just now starting to climb. Same thing with our MACD. It's gotten on top of the other line, starting to climb, and our RSI is still pushing up. Taking a look at that five day, five minute. Okay, that does not look very encouraging. We got a high back here of 261 and then one, two, three, four days of falling, right? She's come down and look, all right, this is our promising sign right there. We have just had our 200 day haul go blue, which means it is now starting to climb up. This can actually be a bounce point for this price to push up. 
We see this a lot. This is where you get your extra power. I say she needs this extra strength. That's where she'd get it. Jumping off of that 200 haul and literally pushing herself right through the 200. Now, do we see this on our oscillators? Uh, no. <laughs> no, we don't. But I do see my 50 is flat. My 200 haul is starting to turn up. My 20 is already climbing. And my nine day is just about ready to curve around. Things, as I said, are warm, not hot. But she's setting up. And with the news, she's now got one alliance working with the sleep clinics. She is now going to start approaching all these sleep clinics around the country. And how many of them do you think are going to want to make extra money with a FDA approved product? Most of them, right? So I think this is a hot stock to be looking at. Now there's more information. They've got more products. I showed you a couple pictures of them that they got. Do your own due diligence, folks. It can't hurt you. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.